I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. Oh, hello everybody, here we are, we continue at the Hershey RV Show, Hershey, Pennsylvania. It is uh, the, the second day here, September 12th, for those of you counting, and um, I don't think I've ever really been in a holiday rambler, so, so let's check it out. This is a Navigator, and let me give you the, the model number here real quick, Navigator 38K, slips 4 and... Uh, it has an MSRP of 318, but today at the Hershey RV show, 225, 995. So for 226, you can take it home and let's check it out. The top features and well, let's let, let's look inside first. The, on a Freightliner chassis, by the way, this is the epitome of luxury here. Look at this. So nice, and so nice that they have the, the doctor air conditioner because it is getting really hot out there. And this is, you know, that type of floor plan where you have the TV on an angle there with the, with the, with the fireplace beneath it. We, we've seen that before. We have residential refrigerator, of course, because on a, on a rig of this magnitude, you need those, you, you, this, you know, everything, everybody's coming out now with the, with the induction cooktop. Very nice, deep, dual uh, sink here with the, with the nice... Oh, look at that, like to put maybe your, your silverware and stuff like that. I don't think this one has a, um, a dishwasher, that's the only thing that is missing from the front here. This looks like it might be a half bath, and it is. It's a little dark in here, but we have... Uh, there we go, lavish ceiling, and we have, of course, uh, this one has that uh, multiplex uh, wiring where you have the, these really cool um, switches. I think it's probably multiplex, right? Because you can do the water pump from here, the, the vent, the vent lit up. Like it doesn't, it doesn't quite work. Maybe, maybe it, it rained last night, maybe, so maybe the rain sensor kicked in. But this is a pretty cool um, half bath here halfway through the coach before you get to the master bedroom. Very nice, very nice bed. And of course you have a, a 110 and the USB here on the nightstand. His and hers, of course, because as you know, we all fall asleep with our, with our mobile devices. This here is a washer and dryer right here in mid coach, sort of. And, uh, and of course, hers and hers uh, closets back here with the TV in front of the bed, as it should be. Two air conditioning units, of course, so something of this size. You need, you need that. And uh, yeah. And there, here you have some of the electronics. And you have like a, like a switcher for the, for the Blu-ray. has a Blu-ray, which is good. A lot of rigs only come with DVD, and nowadays you need Blu-ray for that HD or 4K quality. And this is a um, very nice convection microwave there. It's very large. Everything is beautiful, top quality materials. I like it. Let's, uh, let's see another floor plan here. And um, there you go. This one has that, that drive tech that we were just uh, looking at from Freightliner. Where you have that LCD screen in front of you and it's very much more automotive. There you go, you see? So without knowing, I found a way to show you that drive tech technology that, that we've been seeing. Of course, these large diesel pushers, you get pass-through storage here, I think, on the bottom. Look at that. Look at the size of that. Yeah, you can put a a lot of stuff in there. Let me let me continue here. Let's let me show you another. This is of course the navigator. There's another navigator. They have the well let, let's see this other navigator by Holiday Rambler. 
And uh, I, I always like to show you guys these this, uh, large diesel pushers, you know, the epitome of luxury. This one is uh, 324, 229 here today at the show. And uh, here you also get the drive tech technology on the, on the cockpit. And look at this, this is such a nice, so residential. Uh, it, um, it almost looks like a, like a nice condo, like a nice condo you would have. Actually, there, there are some condos in Miami that are much smaller than this. And look at all this counter space. You know, if I wanted to cook one of my signature uh, meals, you know, those that take two or three different pots, uh, this would be perfect. And here we have some information about all this stuff. It is 340 horsepower. And, um, well, if you, if you guys want to pause, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm sure. Um, let me tell you, you get 105 gallons of fresh water, uh, 50 gallons of, uh, of black water, and 75 gallons of gray water. And I was going to make a, a poop joke about those 50 gallons, but... I'm not going to. I already made one when I <laughs> talked about my micro mini, which has half of that. Here's the master bedroom. Very nice, very nice uh, TV here. And if you don't really want to watch TV, you have a nice view here out of your uh, also emergency exit. It's an insulated window. His and hers uh, sinks here in the in the bathroom. And. Uh, Actually, it is a nice shower. I, li I like the frosted uh, uh, plastic on the roof. Sometimes, I don't, you know, it's, uh, it almost looks like a, like, a, like a lamp and not a skylight. Yeah, it is not huge, but it is totally, totally adequate. Residential fridge here by Whirlpool. Nice large pantry with all these uh, pull-out drawers. And put all your cans, all your, all your stuff. You can fit months worth of food in there, <laughs> but maybe not. Anyways, let's continue. I like, uh, I like the, this one. It is, it is a very nice. The 38F. It is this model. And um, let's look at some other ones. The Endeavor. Let's check out the Endeavor while we're here. There is very, very large slide outs, and the Endeavor has, you know, it's it's a it's a full side slide, and most of this have that. This is a 38W, which is uh, 38 feet. Also, the, the drive tech system here in the cockpit. And um, I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough because there's uh, people here. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't want to. <laughs> yeah, this one has the bathroom in the back here with his and hers uh, sinks. Of course, all of this would have that uh, ceramic uh, toilet and very high quality materials. Oh, this is cool. It has some kind of lining, so I guess stuff doesn't doesn't slip around as much. Where is this? Is this? You know, sometimes I'm afraid to pull on these things, but it does look like it is a, a medicine cabinet. I'm just doing it wrong, obviously. Oh well, I won't break it. Yeah, this is this is this feels very solid. None of that. It, you know, cheap materials that you see in other RVs. This is the real thing. And uh, the shower, you know, it's not the, the largest, but it's totally adequate. I like that they have here like a like a like a soap tray. Although nowadays all I all I use is uh, liquid, so I would uh, actually uh, first thing I would do would I would put one of those dispensers that dispense uh, shampoo and conditioner and soap and. Yeah, very nice. And if you're tired, you can sit down here and, uh, and just let the water cool you down. <laughs> yeah, these are very, very nice. The fit and finish is very cool. 
Of course, you have the multiplex uh, wiring where you can, you know, pretty much con do control everything from here. And I was going to turn off all the lights, but I won't do it because, you know, I'll try to be polite. But yeah, very nice. Okay, this is the 38W. Let's just see if we can find something with the tag axle because that will mean that that's uh, like the longest. I don't think they have any. You see 38, 38, 38. They're all 38s, different uh, models of, of 38 here on the Endeavor line. Let's go to the other side and see what else they have. This is the vacation, Vacationer. I don't think I've done the Vacationer. And I don't recall if I did some of these Holiday Ramblers last year, uh, or if I didn't, but you know, th there's a lot of stuff that way. We have plenty, plenty to see. All of these have that storage in the... And this one is a little uh, less expensive. MSRP 195, 139, 995 would be the 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 RV show price and you know you have here your outside entertainment system and let's just walk inside and see what we have here okay first of all that's why this is less expensive this is gas this is not a a, pro, a, a diesel as I as they as the other ones but still uh, uh, everything everything here is uh, it's, uh, it's very high quality here we have this domestic range this one has propane range not not a, oh, this is heavy, heavy, uh, not that uh, in, induction cooktop that we saw on the diesel pushers. And I'm obviously doing it wrong. There, there we go. Residential fridge, same configuration here and an angle, but you have the, 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 the L-shaped uh, uh, sofa, which is very nice. And here the master bedroom, his and hers USBs and power plugs, which is, uh, is very important. And the, there's uh, me in the mirror with the GoPro. Same uh, shower. Yeah, this is showers are not like the most ooh, luxurious ones, but they're totally adequate. Here we have a wardrobe closet and another closet with a large mirror. So when you're get, getting ready for that potluck at the campground, you can get ready, you know. And <laughs> All right, really cool. Very nice dinette here that uh, I'm sure it converts into a bed. This is more of a plasticky material. You have two cup holders. And uh, as I was saying, this is a, a, a gas engine. It's a Ford, probably a V10. I, I don't know exactly which... Um, which uh, it is, but this is a gas rig. Yeah, Ford V10. That's what it is. That's the vacationer. Let me see what else if I have. A... I came from there. You know, I'm, I'm starting to, I'm starting to get disoriented here at the, at the RV show. Let's see. I think that's a good overview. Let's see what they have here on the on the other side. And this is Bounder. This is Fleetwood. So that's another brand. We're gonna do that on a separate video. As always, thank you so much for watching my um, RV show videos here. This this whole week, we're gonna dedicate to the Hershey RV Show, America's largest RV show, or so they claim. Riding, riding in